Hello ladies and gentlemen this is again shrekes from smart herd welcome to ruby tutorial number 9 in this tutorial i will show you about conditional states statements first of all i would like to show you about if else statement this is a syntax for if else statement which i have already written for you the syntax is such that if you are writing the if statement then you have to also end it by end keyword then let me explain the rest of the body if which is followed by condition then after that code if this condition satisfied then this code is executed else if this condition is satisfied then this code is executed else if no other codes are satisfied then this code is executed and finally end the if statement now here in ruby we are having the spelling bit different e l s i f instead of else if total totally writing else if we are writing e l s i f else if now i have written a small code small piece of code to illustrate you more clearly here i have taken a variable x equal to 1 which is an integer type x if x is greater than 2 then put as x is greater than 2 else if x is smaller than 2 and x is not equal to 0 then put as x is 1 else put as i can't guess the number end the if statement now let us save it and execute it here we go x is 1 as expected this statement is getting executed because x is smaller than equal to 2 correct and x is not equal to 0 it is correct now what if i change the condition here x is smaller than 2 then x is not equal to let's say 1 fine let's save it and execute it here it is output is i can't guess the number this is because here one condition is satisfied and another condition is not satisfied that is why this condition is this end else portion is getting executed i can't guess the number now let's move forward here we are having the ruby if modifier its syntax is such as first we have to write the code after that if statement which is a keyword predefined then after that condition let me show you more elaborately by using the quotes here i am having the x equal to 1 and after that i have having the code statement print x is 1 then after that if statement then after that condition x equal to equal to 1 so x is 1 will only print it if x is 1 just save it and execute it let's see yes x is 1 now let's change the statement x is not equal to 1 then definitely no output will be there this is because no condition is getting satisfied let's move forward and check the ruby unless conditional statements whose syntax is like this unless condition then code then else code end now let's make it more illustrative to lex if you're writing the unless state un unless then you have to end end the uh, end the unless statement by end keyword and in between unless and end whatever you write is the body of the unless conditional statements now let's check it out unless condition then code else code here the things are bit different unlike if when the condition is getting true this code is getting executed but in in unless statement if this condition is false then this code will be executed if it is true then this code won't be executed this is a difference between if and unless statements it is totally opposite and if this is false this code will be executed so else part will won't be executed i have written clearly out here guys execute code if condition is false if condition is true code specified in the else clause is executed definitely now let me illustrate illustrate you with a more good example here i am having x as a variable equal to 1 unless x greater than 2 this condition is false so this code will be executed definitely put as x is less than 2 else put as x greater than 2 this won't be executed now let's check it out yeah x is less than 2 now let make this statement true 
x is smaller than 2 now it is true so definitely this statement will be executed now let's check it out if I'm not wrong executed yes x is greater than 2 so now guys let's move on to unless Ruby unless modifier here the syntax is like this first we have to write the code then unless keyword then condition the syntax is almost same of the if modifier but the things are totally opposite of the if modifier this code will be executed only if this condition is false this is the thing this is the difference between unless and if modifiers now let me illustrate with you a small example here x is initialized as a boolean function false then put as value is false hence statement executed unless x which means if x is false then only this statement this code will be executed now let's check it out let's execute it yes value is false hence statement executed definitely so this is all for this tutorial guys catch you in next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned we will continue our conditional statements in the next tutorial thank you